Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I am doing a spring flower painting on a vase with uh, folk art enamel paint. And this is specifically intended for glass. You can see the wine glass on the top and it's got the curing instructions on the back. You can put it in the oven or cure it by air for three weeks. And this is actually a video that I did live um, on my YouTube channel. And um, I took it and made it into a video for you guys because I really like it and I think it's a really cool technique. So I'm starting off with the grass and it doesn't entirely matter what size brush you use. Just try to use a smaller brush like a liner brush or something like that. And I like to do usually three or four colors for my grass. So I start off with a blue that I've mixed a tiny bit of green into so it's more like a teal. And then I go with just a straight um, kind of a medium green tone like I think this one's actually called grass green uh, the trick with the grass here is to have wavy lines but not super wavy lines you don't want to make it look like seaweed and to also create different lengths of your grass um, and try not to create patterns with it so after that middle green I mix it with some yellow and make a lighter um, more yellow green <laughs> and this is kind of like we're going dark to light so that basically we have some kind of like shadows and and lighting essentially for the project here um so once again with the grass try to avoid patterns it doesn't really matter if it's even solid lines uh, i i think the messier the better don't overdo it either you don't want solid you don't want a very solid grass you want to leave some space in between. And um, if you need to, you can always go back and add in a little more of your other colors, which I typically do a little bit after adding that yellow. And then lastly, I will add um, some gold and or yellow on top as my final layer of kind of lighting. So you can see here, if you look at it, there's all the different layers of color. We've got some different um, lengths of everything. And I kind of check it out at this point too to make sure it looks pretty complete to me before I go in with that gold, which is really just kind of a top coat shimmer. It, it doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's more shimmer than color. But anywho, um, <laughs> once again, feel free to go back and forth on your colors as much as you need to. All right, so after the gold, and you don't need to wait for it to dry in between these at all you can if you want but i actually take the back of my paintbrush and dip it into the yellow and i use that to make dots and these are going to be the center of the flowers this is these are really simple flowers you can get as complex as you want but i put these scattered throughout the grass and then as soon as i've got all my dots in there i start to make my flowers you can use any color you want for the flowers i usually use white or blue in this case I decided to use like a pearl pink and all I'm doing is making little lines not thin lines but short kind of fat lines out from that yellow and we're just making little adorable flowers you can use multi colors for your flowers too by that I mean you could have more than one color on the same flower or you can do different colored flowers throughout your piece um, I've done white and blue together or white and pink, you know, different, different colors, totally up to you. So that's the basic procedure for it. Pretty simple. 
and then I go and I do the rest of my dots. Now pro tip, don't overdo it on the dots because you really need to fill in as many flowers as you do dots. So if you do too many dots, you're going to have too many flowers and it's going to take you forever. You can always add more. You can't easily take them off. So start off with kind of the minimum you think you'll want and then you can always go back later and add in some more, which I typically do. So after doing all of my flowers, I'll kind of take a step back and I'll rotate this and I'll take a look and see where I feel like I might need some more flowers in there. And then I'll go back and basically do the same procedure, adding in my dots and then making them into flowers. So here's how it looks complete super super cute project um and supposedly this paint is machine washable i still recommend washing hand washing anything hand painted but um here's another one i want to show you real quick and on this one i actually took a paint marker a glass paint marker and i wrote some words on the top so that's just to show you another quick option thank you guys for watching see you next time